I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit fired up about this topic. In today's video, we're going to be talking about vacant homes here across Australia. Now, I'm a property investor and a homeowner, and my wife and I have been lucky enough to build out a multi-million dollar property portfolio. But there are some investors and people who have vacant homes here in Australia, and I want to unpack this topic. When we've got a housing crisis and people are looking for affordable places to rent, how is it possible that we could have 1 million homes that were unoccupied on census night? Now, before this census data was actually released, I planned a video talking about vacant homes, but more from what we're seeing on the ground in the buyer's agency here at Purpose Property. It, it's a little known thing that people would buy homes but never rent them out. And that was exactly what I wanted to explore in this video. Now, what I was seeing on the ground was vacant homes that people were buying and deciding not to rent out. And this is contributing to people not being able to find accommodation in suburbs they wanna live in and actually pushing up rental prices in these locations people are trying to find affordable accommodation. Now on screen, we've got the percentages from the 2021 census, which break down the occupied and unoccupied homes on census night. You can see here that it runs anywhere between 6.6% of vacancy on the low end, up towards 12% in the Northern Territory, with most of the states sitting between that nine to 11% mark. Now, how does this equate into actual homes? You can see here that there's 284,000 unoccupied dwellings in 2016 and 299,000 in New South Wales in 2021. Similar numbers in Victoria with Queensland having similar numbers. So it's not like this hasn't been the case for a while. In 2016, the numbers were fairly similar in terms of unoccupied properties and things haven't changed here in 2021. Now, a lot of these properties are gonna be in between selling and renovating, uh, and, but a bunch of them will be vacant because they're unfit for tenants, and a bunch of them will be vacant because people have decided to buy these properties and not rent them out, or they've decided to put them on the short-term rental market on Airbnb, and people are talking about the Airbnb tax that's happened here in Brisbane and in raising rates, but it's not gonna be significant enough to deter people from putting their home on the Airbnb market. It's just gonna put a bit more money into the local council's coffers. Now, this is a very complex topic and it's not gonna be your one solution answer, but I wanted to unpack the properties that were vacant because people had bought them and decided not to rent them out. I think it's terrible that people can actually buy property as a commodity and sit on it because it'd be worse to put a tenant in that property and have the headache of dealing with a tenant. I actually quite like the idea of there being a property tax if a property sits vacant for more than say six months of the year. Property is first and foremost shelter and it's people's homes. I'm an investor myself, but I really couldn't ever see myself having enough cash to sit and buy a property and let that cash sit. But that's exactly what we're seeing people do who have a lot of wealth. They're looking to park their wealth in the blue chip locations. I've even got one on my street where someone bought the property at auction for over $1.1 million and it hasn't been rented for the last six months. It's just sat completely vacant. They haven't renovated it. They haven't listed it for sale or listed it for rent. And I just don't think that should be a part of the market we're in. I totally understand if you're transitioning, you're looking to sell the property, uh, it's unfit for tenants and needs major work. Those are slightly different scenarios and that's where this gets very gray. People could state, oh, it needs work, it's unfit, I can't have tenants, and use those excuses as a reason to not rent out a property. That's why this is such a difficult topic, but the truth is we've got a million homes that are vacant and then something needs to be done. Most people probably would think that me as an investor and a homeowner would not want this to happen and give the, I want the property investors to win, but it's not about winning or losing. It's about doing what's right. And I think investors are investing in property for long-term growth and to create themselves passive income and to give themselves a strong retirement. And homeowners are looking for a stable accommodation that's within their price point and in a location that suits them. So for me, introducing something like a property tax doesn't seem abhorrent. It doesn't seem like the wrong decision, but it's just gonna be how much would the property tax be? How would it be levied? How would you assess how vacant a property was? Would you see ghost leases and things like that on properties? It's a very difficult topic to unpack, so I can understand why politics and government is a difficult position to be in. But for me, it's fairly simple. If a property is vacant for more than six months of the year, I think people should be required to pay more fees because that home is not being used for tenants. 
Let me know what you think down in the comments below. 10% of our properties here across Australia appear to be vacant. We've got a million homes sitting and going to waste. So how could we try and find a solution? I feel very passionate about this topic because you can see people struggling with the cost of living and struggling to find the right rental property for them. So if we could reduce that even to 5% or 6%, that would make a massive difference in terms of the rental stock and allow people to find a home that suits their needs. If you wanna see more content on real estate, renovating and financial freedom, make sure you drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel down below and head over to purposeproperty.com.au if you're looking for a Brisbane-based buyer's agent. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.